Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain about the belt mechanism in Creo. Let's get into the video. First, let me create a new pot by selecting new and make sure that your unit is represented in millimeter newton second pot solid. And I'm going to select a front plane and click on sketch view. And here I'm going to draw a center rectangle, select the center point and draw a rectangle like this. I want this dimension to be 400 and this vertical dimension to be 500 and then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to extrude this one, select the sketch and I'm going to extrude it to a value of 50 and then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to select this face and then click on sketch and go to sketch view and here I'm going to draw two circles with equal diameter constraint applied. Let me edit this diameter value to 30 and I want this dimension to be 180 and I want this dimension to be 120 and this dimension to be 100 and this vertical dimension to be 100 and then I'm going to create a center line, a horizontal center line to mirror this one. And now I'm going to select these two circles. Just select this circle and hold down the control key and then select another circle and use the mirror command to mirror this one. And then give a check mark to it. And now select the extrude command once again. And here I'm going to extrude it up to a value of 100 and then give a check mark to it. And I'm going to save this one. I'm going to save it in a desktop by creating a new folder named belt mechanism. And then click on OK. And I'm going to name my file name as fully support. And then click on OK. And let me close this one. And now I'm going to create the second part. So I'm going to set the same YMMNS path solid as a default unit. And now I'm going to select the front plane and then click on sketch and go to sketch view. And here I'm going to draw a circle, a two circle with the outer diameter of 200 and inner diameter with a value of 30. And here I'm going to draw another circle. Just select this point and draw a circle whose diameter is going to be 10. And I want this distance to be 85. And now select the extrude command and select this sketch here. And here I'm going to extrude it up to a value of 25 with symmetric constraint apply. So this is a symmetric extrude. So I have applied a symmetric extrude here and I'm going to save this one. Select the belt mechanism and I'm going to save this as pulley 1 and then click on OK. And I'm going to close this one once again and I'm going to create the another pulley by the same MMNS path solid as a unit. Select the front plane once again and here I'm going to draw the two circle once again but with a different diameter value. This outer diameter is going to be 100 and this diameter is going to be 30 and this diameter is going to be 10 and this distance is going to be 41. Let me change to 40 and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to extrude this one. Let me extrude it to a value of 25 with a symmetric extrude and then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to save this one, select file and save us 
and I'm going to save this one as the pull D2. And then click on OK. And I'm going to close this one. And now I'm going to assemble these components. Select the new assembly and make sure that your unit is represented in millimeter, newton, second assembly design. And here I'm going to select the assemble command. And here I'm going to import the pulley support first. I'm going to make this as a default constraint and then give shake mark to it. And now I'm going to assemble the pulleys. Select the assemble. Let me import the pulley one first. First, make sure that it is pin mechanism, which is a rotary mechanism. Just select this axis and this axis and make them a coincident constraint. Now select this face and this bottom face and make a coincident relation. Now my pulley is fully constrained. Just give shape mark to it. And select the assemble once again. This time I'm going to import the pulley too. First of all, I'm going to set this as a pin mechanism and select this axis and this axis and make sure that a coincident relation is displayed and select this face and with this face just give a check mark to it. Now my two pulleys are assembled and here I'm going to the application tab and select the mechanism. Here I'm going to select the belt mechanism and just select this surface here and holding down the control key select this outer surface. Now my belt constraint is created and in the ribbon tab it shows the product of Young's modulus and the cross sectional area. You can enter a value here and you can also select the unit system which you are preferable. And here you can activate the user defined stretched length and also you can assign the unit for it. And in the reference tab I have an option called the belt plane. So currently my belt is created right in the mid section. If I select this belt plane and I'm going to select this surface, now my belt is created at this surface here. And then give a check mark to it. So now my belt connection is successfully applied and now I'm going to apply the servo motor connection. Select the servo motor and select this axis here. Go to the profile details and make sure that angular velocity is selected and let me enter a value of 50 and then give it check mark to it. Go to the mechanism analysis and select the kinematic analysis and here I'm going to run this one and it and it runs successfully click on ok. So by the same way I added the additional two pulleys here and also applying some colors to it. So I'm going to apply the belt connection go to the application tab once again and select the mechanism and select the belt connection. Now let me explain how to add the four belts. Just select each surfaces by holding down the control key and now my belt is crossed to correct this one just right click on this and select the flip direction button by flipping this we can correctly assemble the belt in the pulleys so now my belt connection is successfully applied for the three pulleys to add the additional holding down the control key select the fourth pulley and now my belt mechanism is created for the four pulleys and I'm going to apply the servo motor once again. Since I have already applied, I'm going to skip this stage and go to the iron mechanism analysis and make sure that my end time is going to be 100 and I'm going to select the run command. And now my pulley is rotated successfully. If you want to run the pulley on the opposite direction, then go with the cross rebuilt connection. Thank you for watching. For more additional videos, please do subscribe my channel.